Okay, that was quite an interesting watch. And we have Kolawali Deborah Olubumi, popularly known as Derby Sticks. Uh, she's a vast female drama coach and a leader for excellence. It is great to have you. Uh, welcome. That was you, Thank yeah? Thank you. Yes. When, when, when was that video shot? Uh, that was just two weeks ago. Two weeks ago? Yeah. You were in church, yeah? Yes, I'm currently on a tour. Oh, that, okay. So seven different churches for okay. seven Sundays. So that's mm. the third Sunday. That was the third Sunday. Yes, Let's talk about drumming. Uh, how, how did it all start for you? I would say basically, I used to tell people that I started when I don't even know because mm. I grew up to meet myself playing drums. Mm. Yes. So how just, so? <laughs> <laughs> like, I just enjoyed, okay, anytime I just want to be rehearsing. Mm. I just want to do something. I just, I just want to stay with the drums. Would well, you remember the first time you ever came in contact with the drums? Either the first time maybe you fell in love with it. Can you remember? Yes, that would be basically like five years. Mm. Yes. The, the, the interesting thing is just to always stay before any drama to mm. just watch. Even while I'm, while I'm in church, I want to just go and mm. see the drama. Mm. When I'm taking back to the children's department, I'll find my way back to the mm. church just to view. And I thank God for the kind of parents that I had. Mm. They were able to support that's, mm. just, that's just a beautiful so, thing. But, but, so you, uh, you, you just, uh, when you see the drummers, that's how the love yes, just yes, always wanted to Yes, the passion keep coming up. And, and all of that. Yes, I started. Do you ever, did anybody tell you, or do you ever feel like there was any pushback, like maybe a woman shouldn't drum? Yes, I had. Are you serious? Talk yeah. to me about that. <laughs> you know, when I started growing up then, you know, then we had few drummers, female drummers, like they tell you, you have, this is a male gender thing, so mm. what are you doing there? Mm. But... You know, when it's your passion, mm. it takes, even to now, at least last year, a pastor was telling me, no, you have to drop this. I don't know. I don't know why you're playing drums. I was like, really? At this stage? Uh, that's, too, that's too wrong. Uh -uh. So it, it happens. But when you know where you're going, mm. you just have to keep pushing. And I thank God that I did not relent. What, what, are the, what, are the, what, what doors have opened you to the fact that you're a drummer? What has happened to you? A lot of, a, a lot of, even currently now, mm. like, Sometimes I just look back and I say, God, I thank you. Mm. That's just it. I had, I had an interview with BBC last year, mm. and that was a great one. Mm. Because everybody was like, wow, they really? So this thing is, you know, whenever, whatever you're doing, you just have to be consistent about okay. it. And I thank God I'm consistent, and how, it's really paving way. Yeah, how far do you expect to take this? Uh, what, is, what is the dream? What are you looking at? The dream how far? has always been, and it will currently be, to influence as many people as possible. I like that. Especially the female gender. I like yes, that. Yes, because then when I started, we, we never had a lot. But I'm proud that we have a lot of females doing this now. At least mm. I think that I'm, I'm a pace setter for every female. Oh, there be sticks. No, I want to do this. Even there's some that I don't even know. They mm. just text me, oh, Debbie, you're really encouraging me. No, seeing you is encouraging me and giving me the head. Oh, if Debbie can do this, then I can. So my vision is to encourage the female genders, support them as much as possible, take my ministry out of the four walls of this country. Mm. I want to launch out to every you part know, of I the like, world. I like, I like that part about um, encouraging um, females to do that. I, yeah. I just want to talk to females out there. You know, because of what you've gone through, yeah. some of them, are, they want to start into professions that maybe are male-dominated. Yes. You understand? What, what kind of challenges would they have to encounter and how can they overcome these kind of challenges if it comes their way? Yes, the challenges is just going to be discouragement. They will be discouraged. Mm. At times, you know, if you're not careful, imagine it's, it's a men's world. Mm. Is so, it? Yes. Are you sure? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Like, I'm <laughs> talking about music, like drumming, playing the instrument. Okay. They, they tell me, like, especially in Nigeria, they tell me, like, it's meant to be. Mm. guys things mm. but if you really want to launch into that you just have to you don't have to look at every side attractions just focus that's what you be told i i think i've, I've seen female drummers but it's it's a uh, female keyboard is down is uh, you you have you, yes, have you ever worked I with have, female yes, keyboard? yes i have i have a lot of them i have every guitar bass lead keyboards, okay now, uh, okay. Drum, now let's go let's go to the to the basics now Starting playing drums, for someone who wants to learn drums, what, yes. are, what is the most important thing for somebody who wants to learn uh, a drum playing? What is the most important thing for someone to know when you want to learn yes, how to play drums? Yes, when you want to learn, you just have to know, first and foremost, the basics. 
mm. and we have the practical and the theory aspect. But most times people neglect the theory aspect. Mm. They just want to launch into playing the drums. They don't want to, you know, a lot of people just believe that, oh, drumming is just about taking, holding your sticks, eat something. No, it's beyond that. You have to know the basics. You have to know, at least some, some people don't even know, oh, it's just a drum. They don't know what it entails. Oh, this is a simba. This is, this is an ayat. This is snare. They, they're just playing. Mm. So you just have to, once you want to really launch into that, it's not just about jumping. That's why my students, I tell them, when you want to train them, they expect you the, the day they start the training, mm. you take them to the drums. Immediately, I tell them, no, it's not done like that. Oh, you train? Yes, I train people. Well, talk to me, how does that work? Do you, do they pay to get trained or yes. is this something you do voluntarily? Uh, yes, it depends. But you, for okay. the female gender, I've always wanted to do something for them. So even if I'm getting paid like 20000 for a male gender, I'll tell you if you anything you have, just give me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I understand. Considering that you said you're trying to encourage other people and all of yes, that. Yes, especially female gender. Oh, okay, especially female gender. Now you yes. mentioned there's the symbol. I, I, now I've seen drum sets. I know yes. there's uh, the, the basic, maybe the, the basic drum set is one, two, three. Yes. One, two, three. Four, five. Yes. That's three drums yes, that's and it. two cymbals. Yes, two cymbals. That, that's your basic drum yes, set. But then there are wider ones. Yes. Yeah, talk to us about maybe the variety and all of mm, that. We have to. It depends on how big you want it to be or mm. how how much you can make use of it. Mm. We have crash cymbals. We have ride. Mm. We have splash. Mm. We have the hi hat. We have the snare. Mm. We have the floor tom, the uh, first tom, and the second tom. So that means that in the biggest ensemble you've ever played, how many drums were there? Oh, the biggest was, um, I like, maybe five set, but you're going to enjoy a lot of cymbals because as a drummer, I love cymbals a lot. Like mm. anybody that knows me, I hate the cymbals. Mm. Okay. So I always love any drum set. And we have different kind of pro products. We have the pearl drums, just like myself. I got a pearl drum last year. Like mm. it's just mine. A fan got it for me last year, All November. Right. Wonderful. I'll so, just, I, I'll just finally want to ask this one. Have you ever thought of producing music production? Because yes, I'm, yeah. Because as a drummer, I, there's a time when I used to play with some some software, and these are the basics of software. Then mm -hmm. you have symbols. I have. have you ever thought about it? Have you ever yes. tried to do something in that regard? That's that's always the future of any drummer. Okay. Is it that you're a producer? Okay. Or you just launch into anything, DJ or some diverting to ministry full time. So that's just. That's just okay. it, yeah. All right, Debbie. Thank uh, you. I, it was refreshing talking to you. Thank and uh, you. Yes, wishing you the best. See you at the top. Thank well you very done. much. Thank well you. Well done. <laughs>